I'm here in Webflow and I'm going to have a do a little deep dive into what exactly the DOM element is. There's been a lot of fun online about this new feature. And I'm just going to have a little explore and see exactly what we have at our fingertips. So you can see here, I've already got the DOM element on my page. I'm just going to give this a class. I'm going to call it DOM element. Just so that we can see it easier, I'm going to just give it a color. We'll just give it a kind of a gray background. You can see there's nothing there. I'm going to go up here and give it a ratio so that it's nice and easy to see. We'll go with white screen. Nice. So now you can see we've got our DOM element with a background, a nice ratio, background color of gray. We we'll publish this and see what we got. Here we've got our page. We've got a big gray rectangle. If I inspect this, our class of DOM element is rendering. It's just a simple div. So why is this? So why are people so excited about this simple HTML div that's been rendered? Well, why I'm so excited about it is the flexibility. Now, what we're able to achieve using this DOM element. So we'll go back in here to Webflow, and I'll, first thing I'll do is I'm going to wrap this in. I'll call it Grid One, One Call. And we'll just make a single call grid out of out of this. I'm going to duplicate this sum element, remove the class. And let's see what we can do with this now. When we go in here to settings, you can see we've got this option here called a tag. And now this is the same as a semantic tag in HTML. So for example, if I write in an A tag and we call this DOM, give it a name called DOM link. And then we go back, we'll give it a style of DOM link. We'll make it look like a link, give it a kind of a blue color. What we should do is add in, add in a href. I'm going to put in my website. And let's see what happens when we publish. So we refresh this page. We can see we've got our link down here. You see it's working like a link, a little fingers popping up. And if we inspect that, you can see now the exact same element has been changed from a div to an a tag with a href inside it and if we open it up you can see that it's going straight to my website so pretty pretty powerful but like there's there's really no point in this considering in webflow we have a link tag not really too useful at the moment but what but the one thing that webflow doesn't have i'm going to copy this now and i'm going to change this i'm going to give it a class of button so you can see that I've already got this class called button. Now, if I go over here, I'm going to change the, the text in the settings to DOM. See the way we have our A tag, I can change this to a button tag. So now the button shouldn't link to something, a button should do something. So it should have like an area label explaining what it does. So usually like maybe the easiest example would be a button would be a pop-up button because it's doing something on our page. If I publish this now and we go to refresh the page and inspect, you can see here now that now I've got a div, a link and a button. It all started from the DOM element. The reason why I'm so excited about it is that it just opens up the HTML opportunities and options that we have with Webflow. And it doesn't limit us to the elements that we have here. And now you can say we can make things an embed. And that's true, but when we embed something and we put in our button tag, The problem with this now is that if I add a button class on top of this, you can see that what I'm doing is I'm styling the embed. I'm not actually styling the button that's inside. And you can see the button has, it's rendered in the native style of a button. 
if I was to, if I wanted to style this button, what I actually have to do is I have to go in here and go class equals button. And where the issue comes up with this is if I change this to home button, for example, the website is broken. This will change across all of the styles, whereas this here, our embedded style, it still remains the same. You can still see its button, but it no longer has the style that we've added through Webflow. So it just adds more flexibility. All right, so I hope this explainer has helped you. And if you have any questions, just leave me a comment and I'll happily get back to you. All right, have fun. Talk soon.